In this video, we want to solve tan of 3x is equal to 1 uh, between 0 and 360 degrees. So I'm going to turn my calculator onto degrees, so shift mode, and then number 3. Okay, so we're in degrees, we're ready to go. So we're going to, we are going to inverse tan of both sides. So inverse tan of 1. Okay, so we're going to have 3x is equal to inverse tan of 1, which is 45. So 45 degrees. So we're going to do our sketch of tan. Okay, so this is the regular tan curve, remember? Okay, so that is at 180. That's at 360. So we have 1. So this is our first solution at 45 degrees. So the second solution here will be 180 degrees plus 45, so 225 degrees. Okay, so our second part is 3x is 225 degrees. Okay, right, we can now divide both sides by 3, and I'm going to get x is 15 degrees, and dividing 225 by 3 gets to 75 degrees, okay? So they are two solutions, two of the solutions, between 0 and 360. We now need to ask ourselves, what is the period of tan of 3x? Now, tan usually has a period of 180 degrees, okay? Now, tan of 3x will have a period of 180 degrees divided by 3. Okay, we divide the 180 by that number there, and so that's 60 degrees. So now tan is repeating itself every 60 degrees. So I can add 60 degrees to each of these um, until I have found all of the solutions. Now the thing is, because tan repeats itself like so, okay, actually adding 60 degrees to this one just gets me the 75 degrees, okay? So that hasn't found me another solution. But I can keep adding 60 degrees to this one. So 75 degrees plus 60 is 135. That is another solution, okay? So let's keep going. Add another 60. Okay, so that's another solution. Keep a check on that, we're have to be, that we have to be between 0 and 360. We don't want to go over that. It's worth also asking ourselves, how many solutions do we expect? We found four of them, okay? Tan, between 0 and 360, we would expect two solutions. So between uh, 0 and 360 for tan of 3x, we'd be able to fit three times as many solutions in. So there should be six. So we're going to add 60 degrees to this. That's going to get us 255 degrees. So that's another adding 60. And add another 60, and we get to x is 315 degrees. OK. Now, if I add 60 to that, that's 375 degrees. And that will put me outside of the range that I'm looking at. So we have found all of our answers, all of our solutions. It's 15 degrees, 75 degrees, uh, 135 degrees, 195 degrees, 255 degrees, and 3. Didn't work. Draw that three correctly, 315 degrees, okay? And they are the six solutions for the original problem.